All right, welcome back live right here at Pittsburgh CW. Ireland Contracting, Nightly Sports Call, Bordis and Bordis Hotline, Bob Pompiani, Gene Collier. Gary Brandt on Twitter says, Hey, Bob and Gene, no matter what the Pirates do with the trade deadline, do you guys really trust their ability to evaluate talent? Gene, that has been a problem in the drafting and developing process. You know, it's hit and miss with the Pirates. I, I mean, I don't think they're necessarily worse than a lot of teams. I think you know, baseball talent evaluation is a really really difficult uh, thing. I, I don't know. If, the Pirates' biggest problem is not talent evaluation, it's cash. They're just not willing to spend for the highest end talent, and they're always going to be in that position, evidently. Yeah, but, you know, with some of these other organizations, uh, the Yankees, despite the fact that they do spend money, the Dodgers, they do spend money, they still have guys who they draft, and within time, they're up and productive. Bellinger, we saw this series just now. Jock yeah. Peterson, Bellinger, Max Dodgers Muncy comes out of job. nowhere. Yeah. Chris Taylor comes out of nowhere. These players are, are all making a lot less money than you would think, and they're yep. stars in the, in the Dodger. And then they add to it by bringing back Matt Camp and spending whatever they want to spend on pitching. So, um, but I, you know, certainly Neil Huntington has done a good job in certain things, like bringing in Felipe Rivero, now Vasquez. You know what? Mike Rizzo down there in Washington is still kicking himself because he mm -hmm. went after Melanson, traded Felipe Rivero here, and now lost Melanson. He still doesn't have a reliable closer. Right. And who else? Dickerson was a good pickup. Yeah, Dickerson was a good, really yeah. good trade. Yeah, I think. Let's go to Rich in Johnstown. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Uh, pretty good. I, I was going to say that they wanted to send a strong message about accountability. Uh, all of David Freeze, the Pirates would have demoted Blanco and fired Cora. Why didn't they do that? Well, accountability, uh, I mean, you're not going to react to every one play that goes on. To me, that was more on the third base coach than Polanco, even though Polanco should know what's going on. But the third base coach there has one responsibility only, and that is to make sure that his player knows on that play, you'd better tag up, get ready, get ready, whatever, Gene. I mean, I don't know how, yeah, you can blame Polanco, and he's had his share of complete bonehead plays out there on the base pass, but don't you put more emphasis on Cora in that situation? Well, I mean, they both admitted to screwing that up, uh, exactly whose fault it is. I mean, I, I can't believe Joey Cora is telling him anything other than to tag up and go, but Cora even said, I thought he was going to get thrown out. So there was, you know, uh, miscommunication there, but it looked awful, and it was. It was an awful play. How can he make that? You know, that's a bad judgment call because yeah. there's no way. Renfro came over to the wall and had a difficult play in which his momentum took him almost into the front row. <laughs> He had to turn around and make a throw, which if you look at it, was a terrible throw. Polanco should have scored on that. And if he would have gotten thrown out, I know we would have heard people say, what are you doing? I would have been okay with that outcome. Mm -hmm. But that's just the way it is. 412-575-2600. We've got to take a break. We'll do it. Come back with more right here on the Sports Call.